Hello, hello, hello. It's Nigel from Importing Riches, and today I want to talk to you about something that you absolutely must not do when importing products. And this may come across your desk, or the thought of it may enter your mind uh, because there's such high profit margin in it. But it's something that uh, you should definitely not go down that path because it'll only lead to misery and just to show you what it is now he's on a, a site called East Bay it's a uh, sports site that sells uh, famous brand labeled sports gear <coughs> and for this example I've got a page here wet sells hats and one of the popular brands in the marketplace if you're not familiar with it is called New Era and uh, they're a, a licensed brand that carry uh, you know all the different affiliations like for here you can see Batman, Superman you can see all the uh, NFL and uh, all the different product licenses that they have uh, rights to publish to make uh, hats from as, as I keep on scrolling down so these these are uh, a real hats that are authentic now you'll find that if you go to alibaba.com you'll find that there's literally hundreds thousands of sellers from China selling the exact same copies as these now they may look exactly the same and the quality is exactly the same uh, and there's basically no difference in China they're allowed to uh, there's no laws in producing and copying counterfeit items so they're, they're free to uh, copy brand name like uh, New Era and uh, have them logoed and labelled with those sort of tags but the thing that they don't have the licence to is to uh, print and manufacture all the brand names so you need a license to just for example the Superman one you need a license just to uh, print that out which they would have from the uh, you know they have the copyright license to print it from the owner so that's the difference so when you're buying or you're considering importing these type of hats and and you'll find that you can get these hats for two or three dollars from China literally that's how cheap they are and they look exactly the same everything will be counterfeited even the stickers that are on the front they put like a holographic gold sticker that uh, shows that uh, it's a new era hat even then it'll look authentic everything will be authentic but they're not licensed to uh, produce that item so it's actually illegal now if you import this item and don't have the correct license to do it uh, you'll get sued big time so don't even go down that path of importing copied items into your country because if customs gets a hold of it or you get found out through the uh, you know by the authorities you'll, you'll actually you can actually either cop a big fine or go to jail okay so that's how serious it is um, you know they're trying to protect their copyrights and unless you have permission to print their material uh, you know it's not going to happen so stay away 
from anything that is not licensed that you do not have the correct licensing uh, authority to uh, import and you'll, you'll be fine okay now there is a way around it well there's no there's no way uh, around it in the sense of you can't import the product that has their name on it or their their brand name on it okay but I've seen a lot of people bring in items that are very very similar but the the name is different and uh, they look very very similar but they're not infringing on copyright they're not putting um, the actual real logos on them or you know Superman or Batman they can't use they're not using any of those copyrights but the item um, may resemble it in some way but it's not actually copywriting so but you still need to check with your country and have a look at the patent laws in your country so hopefully that's something that um, you won't go down that avenue and uh, that's another wrap up from me Nigel from Importing Riches for, for more information just go to importingriches.com